Okay. Hello, everybody. Just getting home. It's time to fix dinner. So we're using our HelloFresh um, meal. And let's see what we're cooking tonight for dinner. Let's see what we got. Okay, so tonight's dinner on HelloFresh, we're going to do the chicken, sausage, spaghetti, bolognese with zucchini and parmesan. So that's what we're supposed to make. This is everything we got. We got two packs. This is for a uh, family of four, for serving of four. It's the chicken, sausage, spaghetti. All right, so it's supposed to be prep time is five minutes, cooks 30 minutes. Calories is 850. So, and everything I need comes in this bag. So let's see what all we got in the bag. Opening it up right now. Okay. First thing in my bag, I have a few things of spaghetti. And since this is for a serving of four, everything's gonna be doubled. If it was just for a serving of one, it'd be just one. All right, so two things of spaghetti. I got some sour cream. Sour cream. I got crushed tomatoes. Crushed tomatoes. I got the Italian seasoning. Another Italian seasoning. I got Parmesan cheese. I got chicken stock. And then in my bag, I also got two zucchinis. So I got two zucchinis. So this is everything that I got in this meal. So let me step up here so you can see it. And as you see, the bag is empty now. The bag is empty. And this is everything that came in this bag. For this meal. All right, I'm gonna go get supper started. Let's see how we do. The only extra thing I needed was some butter, oil, and sugar. I needed um, two teaspoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter, and one tablespoon of olive oil, and then salt and pepper. So that's all I needed to add, and they had everything else. They send everything else for this meal. So let's get started. Okay, step one, heat broiler to high. So I'm gonna turn on the broiler to high. Okay, so that's step one. Okay, the next step, while that's preheating, get a large pot, bring a large pot of salted water to a boil, and then wash and dry produce. So while that's getting hot, We'll go wash our produce. Okay, so my next step is to rinse my uh, zucchini, wash it. And this is my only produce I have tonight, so I don't have too much to wash tonight. So I'm just going to wash it by hand. I don't even need a colander. Okay, so I got my zucchini washed. Okay, once your water is full, okay, we have the water boiling now, and we just add our spaghetti, and we cook this. What does it say to cook it? The water is boiling. Once water is boiling, add spaghetti to pot, cook until uh, 10 to 9 to 11 minutes. So let's get that done. Nine to 11 minutes. So once I get my spaghetti in there, I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a stir. And we're gonna, for nine to 11 minutes. Get 
that go. I'm all fogged up now. What it suggests is you cut it in half, and then you turn your, and then slice it. But I didn't do that way. So they suggest that you, you make halves, cut them in half. And so there's my zucchini. I'll put them on my tray. tray here. Spread them out. So there's my tray of zucchini. Next step, drizzle it with some oil. It says put half of the seasoning on. Sprinkle, I'm going to sprinkle half of the seasoning. So there's half of the seasoning. Okay, it said put the Italian seasoning on. So I sprinkle it with half. Then it said put some pepper on. So I'm going to Give it some pepper. And then, of course, your salt. Okay, it says, there's my... Okay, so there's my zucchini with all the seasoning in it. It says toss it in the oven on the top of a broiler for five to seven minutes. So I'm going to put that in. Five to seven minutes. Timer. Oops. We'll go seven minutes. And start. So there will be that. Okay, my spaghetti's boiling pretty good. It looks like it's cooking up pretty good. That won't be much longer. Okay. Ready? Go. So now we're going to cook our sausage and we're going to drizzle uh, olive oil in the large pan over medium high heat and add sausage and remaining Italian seasoning. Okay, the next step is to add the uh, sweet Italian chicken sausage. So I'm going to squeeze that right out into my pan. Okay, my timer went off, so I'm going to take out my zucchini. Okay, my timer went off, so I'm going to take out my zucchini, and that's just what it's looking like. It's looking good. I'm going to take that out of the oven. 
So there's my zucchini. It's already baked, so I took it out. Okay, with my sausage in the pan, it says to use the rest of my sausage, my Italian seasoning. So I'm going to do that. Meanwhile, and cook by breaking it up. Okay. So I'm just going to cook this. Stir that up. Once your meat is browned up, crushed tomatoes stock and all right, the crushed tomatoes, the stock concentrate, and one teaspoon of sugar into the pan with sausage. Season generously, salt and pepper. Use okay. So once the meat is done, we are going to add the crushed tomatoes, the crushed tomatoes to this. We're going to use that whole bottle of crushed tomatoes. We're going to use the chicken, the chicken um, stock. Throw that in there. Add the chicken stock. And then we're going to add the sugar. Okay. And we're going to stir. And we're going to add salt and pepper. Alright, we're going to add a little pepper. And a little bit of salt. And a little bit of salt. Okay. Right here. Okay, don't move. Okay, I'm going to add my sour cream. So let's add sour cream. Okay, I've got my sour cream in there. And I'm going to add my butter. this okay and then I stir this up and we're about to plate it When your pasta's done and you're ready to drain it, you're supposed to save one half cup of the water. So that's one half cup. You're supposed to save that. So I'm going to put that there and save it. And then you drain your pasta into the colander. So there's that. Okay, it's time to plate it. So I'm going to put my spaghetti. This is my spaghetti sauce stuff. Everything's looking good. Let me show everything off. 
top it with the sauce. Next is sauce. Then I sprinkle some of the Parmesan cheese on it. Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle my zucchini on it. And there it is zucchini let's see if it looks like the picture okay there's the picture and there's mine so there it is let's try it out and see how it tastes okay there's dinner that's what it looks like and he's going to try it and see how he likes it tastes like zucchini cold zucchini well i took it out of the oven too soon, I guess. All right, now he's gonna try and see how he likes the spaghetti. You get much sauce. What do you think? Is it okay? We'll get back with you on our thoughts. Okay, I'm back. I want to have some closing thoughts on my HelloFresh box. We had ordered it. This was my very first box of HelloFresh. They sent us four different dinners. And so this was their selection and not mine because when I had ordered it, I didn't know I wasn't aware that you picked by a certain date you had to pick a menu or else they send you whatever but anyway it was our first try we tried it and my closing thoughts was first I'm going to show you the meals and the order that we liked them in so let me give you that as far as our meals go my favorite was the Gouda Vibes burger I liked this one um, I like the potatoes. I actually like the dip they had, and I like the tomato stuff that they did. This is a recipe that I would do again. This is a recipe that I liked, and I would do it again. My second place would have been the smoothie, I mean the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken with mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. All right, I did a couple things wrong with this um, recipe first. I, I sliced my carrots too thin because apparently I don't follow directions too well. But um, I liked these glazed carrots, the ways they did them. I liked them. They turned out really good, and I liked them. They didn't give us a chicken breast. They gave us, um, like, chicken strips, chicken chopped pieces of chicken is actually what we had in ours. So if we would have had the chicken breast, it might have been a little bit better. But this meal I, uh, I actually liked. Um, so this would be my second place. Then the third place I would put would this pork and green bean stir fry with candied peanuts and jasmine rice. All right, it has ginger in it. I love the smell of ginger, but when I went to eat this, I did not like this at all. I did not like this dish at all. It was a little bit more spicier than I'm used to. I don't like spicy food. And um, I just was not a fan of the meat either. I didn't really like that particular style of meat. So there's that. And then this one, we had the chicken sausage spaghetti. And it has the, with the zucchini and parmesan. Okay, the chicken sausage meat, I did not like it at all. This, none of my family liked this meal here. I didn't like the spices in it. I didn't like that pork. So apparently we don't like the pork meat. But... That's chicken, on the chicken sausage we didn't like it we didn't like 
this is, I don't know. We didn't feel like it was enough sauce either on our spaghetti because when I make spaghetti, it is, it's swimming in sauce. But anyhow, these are just my personal opinions. And uh, this is what we did with my very first box. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what I liked and disliked. With these cards, I like the fact that they do tell you everything you need or everything that came in that box. I did like that everything that you needed was all right there. And you just had to add just a few items. Just had to add like a black, you know, black pepper, your salt, vegetable oil, sugar. That's stuff you already have at the house anyway. So I liked the way they come to be prepared. And everything, all you need, everything's in that bag. And you just do it step by step. And they do give you step one, step two, step three, step four, you know, so forth. And then up to serving it. So I like these cards. These cards are really nice. It tells you they're very, you know, I like the cards. The thing I don't like is I would rather go to the grocery store and buy the ingredients that I like. Now I could take and choose, they give you the option that you can choose your menu. So there is that. But I would rather go to the store and buy items that I know that I like and fix meals that, you know, I'm kind of used to. But if you want to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and get try something new, this is the way to go. I mean, we tried them. We never done it before. We tried them, and it was interesting. It was an interesting project. Time-wise, it took me longer to prepare a meal for supper than we normally do. We usually have dinner on the table by 6 o'clock. When I come home and I have dinner on the table, either my husband does. The, all four dinners, we did not eat dinner until after 7 o'clock. And that's beyond our <laughs> dinner schedule. But, you know, and it's because I'm trying something new and I was following the directions and trying to do every step. But anyways, 